So that's the last game of pest control that we need to do on this account because we have finally reached 1050 points which means that we can get the ranger and melee helm included in full void so everyone knows what that means we can use ballista to g more the most overpowered thing in the wilderness at the moment so yeah for our third episode of a for road to 100 tier 10s we're going to be doing ballista to g more we can do range to ags using the helm switch as well so might put a few clips in there if we get some nice kill streaks because i'm not going to just put a load of clips in there of me dying but if we are on a fairly high tier then i will put them clips in so yeah hopefully we can get some tier 10s because I'm not really expecting to get too many tier 10s because I've been doing range to AGS like normally uh, the whole time I've been PKing really and uh, I haven't really been I've never used this combo so not expecting to get a load of kills straight away I've just got to get into it and work out how to use it best so yeah hope we can get one to two tier 10s not really expecting to get five so yeah um, I'll see you once I've found my first fight so good luck to our target here using Saradomin Sword and Torture on Scald. So gonna go for the Blist on the next XP drop. Gonna go for it there. 158 XP drop. Ah, oh, I wanna get bigger hits than that. Like I wanna go in like a 300 XP drop at the least to be honest. I think that's like a 50. He's just venging, so he's probably AGSing. He's AGSing us as whacks us as zero. So obviously not gonna be able to kill us even if he specs there. That's a big ballista hit. Oh good fight, bro. 40 ballista hit and then got the G Maul in there. So on the tier 2 now, good fight to him, he wasn't very happy about that. Wow, that's weird, why did he have leather boots? I didn't even realise that, he must have been wearing them to like troll people or something, I'm not sure, I didn't really see. Wasn't really looking at his boots, but uh, I guess that's just what he wants to use. So yeah, got the first kill and that's our first time using the Ballista to G Maul, so I uh, guess that went pretty well, so good fight to him. So we fought this guy quite a few times in the past, XOXOX. Um, I think he's been in like two videos or something, so yeah. He's uh, almost maxed Zerka using D skin to AGS, so uh, yeah, hopefully we can get the kill. Man, our knives are absolutely wrecking. A 20 with the knives, that is insane. He's like the same as the MSB. Another 20. Oh, that's a big blister here, going for the G more. A 08, are you serious? How is this guy alive at 08 on 20 hit points? This guy is so lucky to be alive. Like, the G Morgan hit like 70 at least, and we just hit a 08 on 20. It doesn't really matter, hopefully we can get the kill. Going for the blister there. Oh, he's got to be dead, surely. Wow, 44 left in my 9. Oh, and he hits us with a 56. And gets the venge on him. I think that was a 42. Good fight to him. So yeah, um, we did die earlier. Um, so we're on the tier 2 now after getting that kill. So yeah, that was a really nice kill there. Got that really nice venge in there. Um, he should have been dead anyway. We should have got that G more kill on the 20 hit points. However, we did hit a 08, so he should have been dead anyway. So... Expect us a 56 on our Venge and then got the 42 um, Venge back on him. So, yep, good fight to him. So, just got a new target here, NZL Onage. So, I'm guessing this guy is from New Zealand as he's got NZL in his name. So, good luck to him. Is an almost maxed 60 attack uh, Rune Pure with a 41 defense, 95 strength, and 60 attack. So, yeah, pretty nice account. Um, basically, what we used to be, but 60 attack because we didn't have Barrows Gloves. So going for the blister there and a zero on 46. I could have killed him with the blister alone there if it would actually have hit. So uh, 124 XP drop from the uh, rune knives. These rune knives absolutely own with 99 range and void. Like it's literally better than an MSB. Like because you much faster hits and literally hitting the same. So yeah, void is so overpowered. So going to go in for the blister there. 158 XP drop. One a bit bigger than that. Didn't want to have to uh, get a 25, 25 G more. Wanted to go on uh, when he's like 30 hit points or something. Going for the G more when he's uh, on some hit points like that. This guy is safing really hard. And another zero ballista. What? Oh my life, we almost died there. Yeah, this guy is safing to four. And our ballista is just not hitting for us at all. Which is really frustrating. So just going to repot up back there. And he's sitting on 41 hit points. Going to go in for the ballista shortly. Oh, he's got to be dead there. Oh, good fight, bro. 59 ballista and the 29 zero more comes in with a K so obviously not very happy about that so he had the ballista hit like five zeros in a row and then we got the hit that we wanted which was that 59 so good fight to him so good luck to our target here on scored using an AGS and torture um, so yeah hopefully we can get some big venge combos in on the AGS wax because uh, we've got low defense bonus and it's in for the spec there specs us a five um, on like 50 hit points oh wow he's dead 
<laughs> good fight. Have no clue how he did, how he died there. Um, it showed really low hits, but uh, I guess he just hit us quite high on our vengeance. Also went in for the ballista hit there, as you saw, but didn't even need the ballista hit because he was already dead. So good luck to our new target here. Snap is back. He's using the frisbee things that you get from the Tazar caves. I think they're like rune knives, but a bit more strong and uh, obviously a bit more expensive as well. So he's probably using Ballista to G more because he's got Smite and why else wouldn't you use Ballista when he's got Void. So yeah, our Ballista is absolutely wrecking him. Like we're finally not hitting some zeros. Going for the G more there. Oh wow, we just ran away. Hit a 31 with the Ballista there. So that was a decent hit. So we uh, decided to go in for the G more, but sadly he ran away like 10 steps. Ran away from the G-Mort so we couldn't even hit him. Oh my life, we've just hit loads on his Venge. Oh my life, we just got stacked out for 92 hit points. I saw him Venge and then I saw the 229 XP drop from the Ballista. And oh my life, he just hit us a 65 with the Ballista spec. So it looks like we've got a 1 defense pure here as our target. So our knives and our G-Mort are going to absolutely shred through this guy. So hopefully we can get a decent Ballista hit so we can go in for the G-Mort. Comes in for the DDS there, a 1610, and double specs us. Gonna go in for the blister there. Gonna go in for the G more. Oh, good fight, bro. Got the 39 blister followed by the uh, 00, 0 more. However, we did get an XP drop from the more, so I don't think it showed that for some reason. So here we had five tier sixes in the bank, so gonna be using those. Hopefully, we can get all of them to the tier 10. We need like a 15 kill streak for that. So yeah, on the tier 7 now, three kills to go for the tier 10, and a uh, good fight to that guy. So it looks like we've got a new target here, Lumby awaits, so let's just see what he's using. Oh my life. Let's uh, just attack him because got no friends online that can score trick him. So uh, that's a bit annoying, but guess do good luck to him. So, wow, what is he doing? Going to go in for the uh, Ballista and an 18 XP drop, absolutely terrible. So this guy is camping the AGS with a torture and uh, what is this guy doing, seriously? This guy is so new to the game. Oh, and he's come back in. Just, what is he doing? He's just AGS let me on 83 hit points. Oh, that is what you call new PKers to the game. So anyone calls you a new PKer, if you're better than that guy there, then you're not a new PKer. Because that was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Trying to AGS let me on 83 hit points. So got a new target here, fellow knee one. This guy knows something about me. <laughs> not sure what it is. But yeah, good luck to him. Uh, let's see if we just follow him, we can see his stats. Oh, and we attack him. So 60 attack, 92 strength, 45 defense, and uh, 94 range. So basically a maxed voider. Probably using Ballista to G more. Oh, I'm going to eat on 55. Not really, uh, don't really like that hit points. So come on. Oh, that's a big hit. It's, come on, he's got to be dead there. Oh, good fight, bro. That was a terrible switch by me there. Um, pretty surprised that I didn't get. Pretty surprised that I got the kill there because I didn't really insta spec. As you saw, like it did uh, the one uh, G more spec, and then the next one showed up like one tick later. So pretty bad switch on my part. Um, because what I was doing before was I was insta specking um, the G more. So it was. Sh oh wow, I'm being I'm being rushed. Let's get out of here. I'm, oh yeah, look, I'm being splashed. Let's just teleport away. See on a tier eight. So yeah. Before, what I was doing was uh, insta specking the G more, so the G more hits would show up first. So I've been trying to delay the um, delay me switching to the G more so that they stack at the same time. So yeah, I'm still pretty new to this, so just getting my head around it. So yeah, uh, good luck, fight, good fight to that guy, and two kills to get the first tier ten. So good luck to my mate, kids charge. Um, in our first fight, he was using dark bow spec and also using the dark bow to uh, whack it as well. So yeah, hopefully we don't get 48-48 debowed because that would be absolutely um, tragic. So yeah, zero ballista hit there and he gets in a nice vengeance. And going for the debow, 25-8 there. That was a really nice play by him. Got the nice spec in on our, de on our um, ballista hit and then got the spec in there. Shame that we didn't hit on his vengeance uh, for him anyway. Going for the ballista there. Ah, oh, had to go in for the ballista there after that 128 XP drop from the uh, rune knives. Going for the G-Maw there. Oh, good fight, bro. That was a brilliant stack there. Um, that was his own fault, to be honest, because he, he he walked away perfectly, and then he walked back into the tit range, so I was able to G-maul him. So, yeah, on the TN9 now, so one more to go. 
So yeah, good fight to my friend there, and uh, I feel a bit bad as well because I uh, just don't really like killing my friends. So yeah, good fight to uh, our friend kids range. So good luck to our friend here, Twerk5. So on the tier 9 now, hoping to get the tier 10, and if we die, that's just going to be really annoying. So uh, I think this guy's using uh, AGS, and he's coming in for the AGS. Oh my life, we are so lucky. He's AGSing us, and we've just lost the tier 9. Oh my life. Did that just seriously happen? So we've just pulled out one of the tier 6s that we had in the bank. So good luck to this guy here. He's a max 60 attack pure. I really want one of these. I've uh, been thinking of making one uh, myself. Tier 60 attack, 19 on strength and 52 prayer. So yeah, it's a really nice account. So we're going to go in on the ballist on the next XP drop. Going to go in for it there. Jamal. Oh my life, are you serious? 11-0 on 30 hit points. Ah, oh, come on, Gmore. The Gmore is like, ah, oh, so inaccurate, but um, I'm pretty sure it has the uh, accuracy bonus with the melee void, so uh, I have been hitting a lot more than I normally do when I do instant Gmore. Oh, that's a big ballista hit, and a 38, and uh, he got a nice venge in there. I think that was a 28 that he hit back on us. Oh, his D-skim is absolutely wrecking us. Thought he was going to go in for the DDS there, that's why I uh, double eight. Going for the Ballista, that's a big XP drop. Oh, got him with the 47, good fight, mate. I, I think he uh, changed to the DDS there, so he wasn't really concentrating on eating. So yeah, got the 47 Ballista in there for the kill, and got that tier 6 up to the tier 7. I think we've got uh, three tier 6s left in the bank, so if we can get any of them to a tier 10, then I'll be really happy. So yeah, good fight to that guy. So good luck to this guy, XIIT. Looks like he's a uh, 60 attack Zerka, so good luck to him. This guy looks like the biggest noob before in the world, so yeah, um, expecting not to die. So uh, he's got 92 strength, 45 defense, and 60 attack. So he has got a nice account, but he's just got a combat bracelet and um, room plate body and n no fire cape. So yeah, going for the ballista there. Oh, he's got to be dead, surely. G more 0 0 on 17. I I I'm so done. Come on, ballista. 53 on 56 hit points. Come on, ballista, get the kill. Oh my life, this guy's so lucky. So good luck to this guy, Dominator. Um, this guy, 47, 46, Debo, my friend, um, a few minutes ago. So hoping that he doesn't get the same RNG. He's going for the Debo, 823. Glad he didn't get the same RNG that he did on my friend there. Otherwise, we would have been dead and lost our tier. Um, oh, that's a big ballista going for the Gmore. 0, 0, and 22. Are you serious? What is the Gmore today? I didn't expect me to get that big of a ballista hit, like, I was just going for the normal ballista hit as you normally do. Saw that 312 XP drop and uh, I knew he had to be dead, but the Gmore just absolutely failed us, like, seriously bad there. Oh, these knives are so good, give the ballista and an 18 XP drop. Nice Venger in his part there, managed to uh, get the, that nice Venger on the ballista hit. Go for the Debo and a 13-19. So uh, glad his RNG has gone uh, not as good as it was before. So going to go in the Ballista on the... Uh, oh, he's got to be dead there. Ah, oh, 32 on 40. So uh, I always like to go in for the Ballista after them uh, amazing uh, rune knife hits. Because these rune knives are so overpowered, I'm telling you. Ah, oh, these hits going for the Ballista on his Venge. Come on. Yes, got him with the 51. That uh, delayed hit from the Ballista. Oh, Debo PK. Lol, are you serious? Devo PK, no way, and a tier 4, and a tier 8, and we're on the tier 8 now, got that Dark Bow PK, and a tier 4 PK, no way man, so yeah, um, the Rune Knives in that fight was absolutely destroying him, um, managed to get that nice blister kill in there, bit unlucky that we didn't get the kill with the Gmore, but we got that kill anyway, got that Dark Bow PK, that is, uh, and I, I don't even know why he was risking it, he wasn't using a blister or, oh, I'm not sure if he's using an, an Anguish or something, but yeah. Not too sure what has gone on there, but good fight to him. So we've got our friend as a target here, Get some on. So I uh, fought him a few times in the past, and he's also using Ballista to G more. So hopefully we're not going to get Ramboed out for the uh, Tier 8. Ah, oh, the Ballista hitting a 0 again. Everyone's saying how OP the Ballista is, but I just cannot seem to hit with it today. Or well, I've been doing it for like the last 2-3 to three days. Oh, it's coming in for the G more there. Oh, and it comes in for the G more a 0-10. Bit delayed there, but um, so we managed to get the eat in. <laughs> what a fail! He's a bit annoyed with his G more spec that um, he delayed it for like three seconds. So yeah, going for the blister there and a 23 XP drop. Absolutely terrible. Wow, he just hit was a 60. Are you serious? 
We've hit like three zeros. Come on, man. Can I have some RNG, please? Gonna go for the blister there. 270 XP drop. He's gonna be dead. Oh, good fight, bro. Them uh, hits there was absolutely amazing. It didn't really show any good G-more hits. But, however, we got a 317 XP drop, so that's like a 35, 28, something like that. But yeah, um, it only showed the 28, so uh, doesn't look that good, but it was still really nice. Got that really nice clear in there. It's, it was probably because of the overkill thing, like the new PID thing. Like I got the XP drop, but it didn't show what I actually hit. So yeah, on the tier 9 now, one more kill to get the first tier 10 of the episode. So we're getting a rematch with this guy, X Atreides X. So this guy is using Ballista to ruin crossbow hit. So this combo is very, very rarely used anymore because of the Ballista. And yeah, just the Ballista is so much better than the Blowpipe. So yeah, hopefully we can get the kill as we're on the tier 9. So really hoping to get the first tier 10. So going to go in for the Ballista there. Going for the G-Mall. What? 16-0 left him on 9 hit points. This guy is so lucky. So yep, yeah, gonna have just um, so gonna have to get the kill with the ballista whack, which is obviously really easy because it can hit like 60 alone. In for the ballista, come on, it's gonna be dead there. Ah, oh, 32 left him on 27 hit points, so could have easily got the kill there, and I would have got the kill if I'd have had Venge there, because he hit quite a big hit on my. Uh, oh, he's gonna be dead there, and we got him with the 46. I got so lucky there, all oh, my life. So yeah. He come in for the uh, G more there after that rune crossbow hit, and um, he got a dragonfire hit on me as well. But I knew that I had a really big XP drop with the, um, I knew that I had that big XP drop with the ballista, so I knew that he was dead because he didn't eat and he was just coming coming in for the G more. So yeah, tell you the way so that I didn't have to sit on like 10 hit points and uh, no prayer. So yeah, gonna go and collect the loot, and that is the first tier 10 of the uh, ep ep episode. So yeah, good fight to him. So good luck to this guy, one tick. I don't remember ever fighting this guy in the past, so either he's had a name change or he's, um, this is a new account for him. So yeah, good luck to him. It looks like he's using uh, Void. So he's got 60 attack, 88 strength, 42 defense, and 52 prayer. So this guy is probably using um, Ballista to G more. And I decided to pull out the uh, melee helm switch with an AGS. So yeah, uh, switching up a bit and hopefully we can get some nice kills. Oh, he's, going oh, he's coming in for the Ballista. And a 0-0 zero, zero on 38 hit points on us. So we're pretty lucky to be honest there. We could have easily died there. I'd say I was quite lucky, yeah. Um, but it did, that was like my 4 hit points. But a 0-0 zero, zero on 38 hit points, it could have easily uh, hit. So yeah, hopefully we, we can actually get a spec in because we're almost out of food. And he's just absolutely destroying us with his ballista. So just potting up again so we can go in for the spec as soon as we get a nice XP drop. Oh, come on, I want more than a 15. He's going for the blister again. Going to avenge that. Oh, for some reason, it didn't go off. So, going to avenge that on his crossbow. And a 0 on 48. Are you serious? I, I literally just 9 ticked, but that was still a 0 on 48. I could have easily hit, hit that. So, get, oh, 140 XP drop. He's going to be dead there. And a 35 with the AGS. Good fight, mate. Um, literally out there. Um, only had 3 food left, so just tele teleported because... By the time I potted up, I've had no food left. And uh, literally got no prayer because he, he was smiting us as well. So on the tier 7 now, so we've got one kill with this setup. So good luck to inside job. Looks like he's got the um, the disc things. Uh, frisbees, that's the one. That's what everyone calls them because uh, no one actually knows the name. Just going in for the Debo there at 2012 with the uh, Debo there. So uh, not too big of a spec and not going to kill us. Uh, I think he's a bit annoyed about that Debo spec. But yeah. Wow, 24s with this um, frisbee thing. That's so overpowered. All my life. Come on, AGS in there. Oh, I really wanted to AGS him on that um, 26 MSB. That is a huge hit. Going for the AGS there. And a 24-54. Good fight, bro. I don't think he's very happy about that. Comes in with the O. And uh, yeah, good fight to him. So I did that, uh, tri um, that XP thing again. I'm not sure what the XP drop was, but it definitely wasn't enough to hit a 54. So yeah, that was a really nice stack there, 24-54 with the um, void. So yeah, uh, really liking this setup at the moment, uh, getting used to the two switches. So yeah, good fight Tim on the tier 8 now. So good luck to this guy, gets them on, and we're being ballista hit by someone. Is he going to hit me again? And yes, he's, he's, he's just hit me again. So just going to attack my target because I don't really want to get rushed out for my tier 8. So it's that guy, in that inside guy that I killed in the last clip. Uh, I think he's a bit annoyed that I killed him. Oh, 159 XP drop, going to go in for it there. And a 13, left him on 22 hit points. What is my RNG, man? 
a 13 on oh my life I can hit like 65s so uh, just telling my friend here why I attacked him uh, I don't I don't think he realized that I was getting rushed by someone so yeah just gonna tell him so that he doesn't think that I'm rushing him so yeah uh, gonna always oh, went in for the Debo and a 95 was that I think uh, I think that was a recoil hit the other the other hit so yeah a 95 whack with the uh, Debo there so uh, he's still got the two specs of the Debo left, so we need to watch out for that. And he's going for the Debo and an 824. He's also got PID, so we need to watch out for that. Come on, going to get a bench here. Going for the AGS. And good fight, bro. 13 with the AGS there. Not very big of a hit. So yeah, I had to teleport again because we've got uh, no food. So I don't, I don't want to get rushed out by that guy. And we've literally got no food. So good luck to this guy, Healer Hat. We just follow him here. We can see his stats. So 60 attack, 95 strength, 45 defense, and 55 prayer. So yeah, basically a maxed 60 attack Zerk, so pretty nice account. So yeah, he's got that 55 prayer so he can go bridging. Wow, 038 with the DDS. He could have hit a 40-40 there. And 034, this guy is destroying us. And he finally hits a zero with the D-skin. So we can finally start hitting him with range instead of just eating all the time. So 62 hit points, gonna go in for it there, and we just failed really bad. Got that nice Venge in there, but we uh, whacked a 0 on 38. If we'd have gone in for the spec, we could have got the kill there. And he finally hits a 0 0. In for the AGS. Oh, good fight, bro. 24 um, MSB, followed by the 53 AGS. Wasn't stacked, though. Wow, 400k cash. Are you serious? Got a tier 10 and 400k cash. Wow. Why did that guy risk so much cash? Like, was he uh, doing that BH challenge that I do or something? So, yeah, good fight to that guy. That's like a. It's like a 2 mil PK there basically because uh, tier 10 is like 1.2, 1.3 mil. And then got the uh, Zerk loot and the 400k cash. So yeah, really nice uh, kill there. Even though we are 2 ticking these, uh, um, it's because I'm uh, so new to doing these 2 switches. So yeah, hopefully I will get better as we go through the episode. So yeah, good fight to him. So good luck to this guy, Neek Eriofa or something like that. Not sure what that means at all. Oh, 94 XP drop going for the spec there. And a 0 on 60. Good job I didn't spec there because probably wouldn't have hit a 60. A bit unlikely for us to hit that. And he 0 32 DDSs us on our vengeance. So uh, we should have gone in for the whack there because he was on 33 hit points. So that was a perfect opportunity. Wow, is this guy seriously, seriously smiting on score? That is oh, so sad. So come on, I need to get some bigger XP drops. Oh, that's the one we want. Oh, good fight, bro. 28 MSB followed by the 36 AGS. Mate, 28 MSB is just so overpowered. If you're going to hit, um, no matter what HP they're on, and you hit a 28 with the MSB, you've always got to go in for the AGS. Because you can easily stack 100. So yeah, good fight to that guy on the tier 7. So hopefully we can get the 3rd or 4th tier 10 of the um, episode. So yeah, good fight to that guy. So good luck to this guy, Dominator. We fought this guy earlier in the episode, and we managed to get the kill. So hopefully we can repeat what we did earlier. So, uh, yeah, he looks like he's Ballista G Morlin. Oh, spending comes in, saying I'm his idol. <laughs> Thanks a lot, bro. So, yeah, it looks like Dominator is using Ballista to G more. So, we need to watch out for that because he's also smiting. And a 51 there. We're literally going to get smited out. We've got the Triple E in there, and he hits us a 0 there with the Ballista. So, we managed to not get smited because he did hit a 0 um, on his last Ballista hit. So, managed to eat up and get our prayer up and repot and stuff. He's coming in with the Venge, and the Ballista hit hits us a 15 there. So it's probably going to be G morning us pretty soon, and he's blistering us again, another 15. So yeah, we've literally got three food left, and we've hit this guy like four times. For some reason, he's blistered so overpowered, and the AGS there, a 27 whack on 50. Misclick the spec there, so that is a bit annoying. So we're going to go in for the spec as soon as we get an XP drop. He's got to be dead there, and a 45, good fight, bro. Just going to have to teleport because we've got two food left, and... Um, we'd have no food, so just gonna teleport because on a tier 8, don't want to get rushed out. So, yeah, good fight to uh, Dominator. So, good luck to our target here, Sayo Toem. Looks like he's using MSB to AGS and as a rune pure because he has got that rune 4 helm. So, yeah, as you can see at the bottom, 75 attack, 88 strength, 42 defense, and 97 range. So, good luck to him. Screen for the AGS there and wax us a 31, left us on 41 hit points. Did get the Venge in there, however, because I did think he was going in for the spec. So, was hoping to get that Venge kill there. So, yeah, good luck to him. Um, hopefully, we can get that nice kill to get that tier 9. And get the third tier 10 of the episode. So, I thought he was going in for the AGS there. Oh, 135 XP drop. He's going to be dead. Oh, good fight, bro. 23, 45. 
That was a really nice one tip there. Got that step tick in. 153k cash as well. That is really nice. So yeah, uh, that was a really nice one tick there. Finally got a nice kill with the uh, helm switch and got a step tick in as well. So yeah, that was really nice. On the tier 9 now, hoping to get the third tier 10 of the episode. So uh, good fight to Sao Tome. So Cole Addy Rune is our new target. Looks like he's going to be camping the Ballista. So if he's not smarting us, then I'll... Uh, I spoke too early. It looks like he is smiting us. So if he's, um, looks like he's going to be smiting us. So the only way we're going to get a kill is to get a really nice venge combo in here because literally 90% of the time I'm just going to be making sure my prayers up and eating food because I know this guy is literally going to hit us like 10 50s in a row, which is normally what happens when I fight these guys. So we're going to venge on that ballista there. Oh my life for 21. That was a really nice eat there by him. Not sure how he got so high hit points so soon. I bet his, uh, as soon as he saw me venge and he knew that he was going to hit me with the blister, he like aged up to 4 hit points. Oh, 141 XP drop and we should have gone in for the AGS there. I was being too cautious because we are on the tier 9. So definitely should have got... Oh, 165 XP drop. He's going to be dead. And an 8 on 49 hit points. How is this guy not dead? My RNG against this guy is super bad. Going for the whack there. And a 22, left him on 37. So not really going to whack a 49. Not too sure what my max is, but yeah, going to go in for it there. And he's got to be dead. Good fight, bro. Got that really, really nice Venge kill in there. Whacked him at 23, I think that was. And then got that, like, 45 Venge in there. So, yeah, got the third tier 10 of the episode. So, yeah, guys, really hope you enjoyed this episode. Has gone a bit longer this time, so hope you enjoyed that. So, yeah, got three tier 10s this episode. And uh, glad I could change it up a bit. So, if you like the uh, video, give it a like and a comment. And I'll see you in the next one.